Hello everyone, my name is Finley and welcome back to another X-Plane 11 tutorial. Today I'm going to be hopping into the Gulfstream 550 and showing you how I like to program the flight management system. So let's hop into the flight deck and let's get rolling. Okay, welcome back to the Gulfstream 550. Uh, I got the APU all started and we're just sitting here with the packs on. First thing I like to do is come over to my weight and balance here and I'll pull up my sim brief. Uh, estimated block fuel for this flight was 8,200 pounds. I always like to pad that generously, so I just put in 10,000 pounds. And we have 15 passengers on board today. So we already got the fuel taken care of, and the passengers uh, are coming soon. So we'll go ahead and jump into the box. So first thing we'll go ahead and do is turn on all three of our IRSs, and we'll start with the program. So we're going to go to pause in it, and we're going to load GPS position one. We can see that that's loaded. That tells the IRS where our current position is. We're going to go to flight plan originating out of KLAX and we're going up to Boeing Field. Alright so the first thing we're going to go is we're going to go to departure. Uh, flight plan says 24 left via the summer 2 departure and then the scatter transition so we'll select that and then we'll hit activate it's gonna pause for a second while it thinks about it okay next thing we'll do is we'll scroll down to the bottom next after scatter is SNS we'll put that there after that we have RBL After RBL, we have Battleground, Bravo Tango Golf. Okay, next thing we need to do is uh, program the arrival. So we'll go to Nav, Arrival, Star. We're doing the Olympia 2 arrival with the Battleground transition. Okay, and next we'll go ahead and fill out the approach. We're going to expect the ILS with no transition. So we got the Olympia 2 Battleground Transition, ILS Runway 14 right, no transition into Boeing Field. We'll go ahead and activate that. All right, and the last thing we'll do is scroll all the way down, and we'll put Boeing Field into that VIA 2, which essentially closes our flight plan. So we'll go ahead and take one look at this, make sure everything looks right, which it does. So that's the entire flight plan programmed. Next, we'll go ahead and hop into the perf. We're going to go perf init. And I'm getting all my numbers via simbrief. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and change this real quick. We're flying KFB888, and we'll post that in the tail number up there. We'll go next. Now we have performance init 2 out of 5. Uh, I like to climb at 0.77. These are all just rough numbers, but that's what I personally like to use. Uh, we're going to be cruising at 0.85, and then the descent. Uh, I like 270, 0.77, and 3 degrees for the descent. So that's all in there. We'll now go to the third. Uh, our fuel reserve is going to be 4,000 pounds and we're not going to be stepping. Our initial cruise altitude is going to be flight level 430. Our average cruise winds are 233 at 18. The ISA deviation is going to be plus 2. So I'm going to put that in there. Next, we don't have to worry about the basic uh, operating weight. Uh, our fuel is coming down here to uh, what I had selected at uh, 10,000 pounds. So we'll go ahead and put 10,000 pounds in there. And then our cargo total is going to be uh, 800 pounds. And then we're carrying 15 passengers, so we'll do 15 
in there. And then we'll just make sure all this looks right. So we got 10,000 pounds of fuel, 8,000 pounds of cargo at 15 passengers. We'll go ahead and confirm init. We'll now go to takeoff. And again, we'll just verify we're flying the GLF 550. This is all good. We'll go to the second page. We're departing runway 24 left out of LAX. The current outside air temperature is 21 degrees. And the current winds on the field are 260 at 13. And if you're ever having trouble with getting the takeoff data to post, uh, make sure that you're getting the OAT and the surface winds in the uh, second page of the takeoff in it. And elevation is good. That's all set. Okay, we'll go to the third page. We don't have to worry about any obstacles on this departure. We'll go to the third page. NS is going to be off. Spoilers are operative. NS get is operative and it's a dry runway. We'll go to our fifth page. Just make sure we're doing flex at flaps 20. We'll go ahead and confirm all that. We got our accelerate stop distance and then we have our takeoff V1, rotate V2, uh, VSC, and VREF if we have to come back. And then we can also come up here and go to flight ref and we'll verify that we have all those speeds posted. And then once we're on our descent into Boeing Field, we would obviously look at the landing phase. We would input all of our weather uh, for our arrival, put in the OAT and the wind, and then we would go to the second page and we would get our required landing distance and performance numbers. Okay, that was a quick tutorial on how I like to program the FMS on the Gulfstream 550. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.